Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Janelle, this is Janelle Knows Money. Today we're gonna to talk about the interview question, where do you see yourself in five years? The first thing we're gonna talk about is why interviewers ask this question. Then we're gonna talk about how to formulate an answer. Now that it's important to understand why an interviewer is asking you a question so that you can give them a very full, complete answer to that question. It's not always as straightforward as it seems. You know, you think, where do you wanna be in five years is extremely straightforward, but again, there are underlying meanings and responses that they're looking for to better understand who you are as a person and a potential candidate and employee. And then finally, after we go through all of that, I'll give you an example answer. Hopefully that'll help you create an answer for yourself. So first up, why do interviewers ask the question, where do you see yourself in five years? Really asking this question is another way to ask a candidate why they're interested in this specific role. Interviewers also want to understand where you're at in your career and then they want to understand if where you're at aligns with the job that they're hiring for. Recruiters want to make sure that the job that you're applying for is the right sweet spot for you, meaning it has a mix of familiar tasks that you have experience with combined with additional growth opportunities and tasks that you can lean into and learn while you're in the role. If you're in a place in your career where you're looking for a position that's more advanced than what the job is that you're applying for, it's gonna show up in your answer because you're gonna be talking about what your dreams and your goals are over the next five years as well as what they are currently. And it'll indicate to them that you might not be the right fit because of this. And some people might argue like, wouldn't a recruiter want somebody that is very qualified for the position to hop into the job? And I would say yes, but at the same time, they want somebody to have enough opportunity to grow and learn in the job because they want you to be engaged. If they don't think you're gonna be engaged in the position because it's not as exciting as you would hope it would be, then they know you're a retention risk and that you might leave sooner than they were hoping for. Which leaves them at square one, trying to find and onboard a new candidate. This process can take a lot of time and could cost the company a lot of money. How do we answer this question then so that a recruiter knows what your expectations are for this position as well as for your future while also not sending any red flags that indicate to a recruiter that you might be a retention risk? So my recommendation would be to break this question into two separate parts. First, I would talk about some longer term goals that you have. So this is something that is a little bit more near that five year mark. And then I would also talk about some of the expectations and goals that you have for yourself in your career in the more short term. The reason I recommend you splitting your answer into two different sections, um, some shorter term goals within the five years and longer term goals within the five years is because you could be in a very different spot in your career after five years, especially if you're interviewing for a more entry level position. Within five years of being in an entry level job, you could find yourself in more of a mid tier, mid career job. When you're talking about those shorter term career goals within the five years, make sure that those very short term goals are directly applicable to the position that you're applying for. For example, if you're looking at the job description and you find that there are a few things that are of interest to you, you haven't done before, but you'd like to expand your skills within, those are perfect opportunities to say, within the short term, I would like to learn this, 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 and this. Being at your company seems like a really great opportunity to further dive into that and expand and grow within that sector of my job. Your longer term goals that are more at that five year mark that you wanna to touch on should be a little bit loftier, but should still be in alignment with the company. So what I mean by this is ahead of time, what I would recommend doing is looking at the company, looking at the position you're applying for, and then trying to figure out kind of on LinkedIn, you could go through and you could see who's in that position, or you can see who's been in that position in the past and if they stayed at the company and got promoted, what the future looks like for that role. So an example would be maybe you start out as an operations associate and you noticed on LinkedIn somebody else who was an operations associate then became a senior ops associate. And then after that, they became an operations specialist or an operations manager. You could specifically touch on that to let the hiring manager or recruiter know that you wanna grow at the company. You can let them know that you know this position starts in an ops associate, but in five years you see yourself being an ops manager or an ops specialist, whatever that looks like for the company. If you're not sure where you're gonna be in five years, you also could let them know that in one way or another. I have done this in an interview and 
I've done in a few interviews actually, and I've, I've always gotten a pretty positive response. I'll go into what that answer could look like in the next section when we talk through some templates for answering this question. Okay, examples. Let me talk through a couple of scripts for you. I know for me at least, it's always really helpful to hear answers in action. If I were interviewing for a compensation analyst role, which is something I've done in the past, here's how I'd answer this question. In five years from now, I'd like to be in a higher level compensation role. I know that I'm interviewing for a compensation analyst role right now, but in the future, I would love to move into a senior compensation analyst role that allows me to take on additional duties and tasks that are at a higher level that allow me to grow my skills. That said, in the short term, I see myself growing within the role until I get to the point where I am at a senior compensation analyst level. To me, this means learning additional skills in Excel. This means looking to different certification programs as well as workshops and potentially conferences that I could go to to expand my skill set so that I can continue to grow in this role. Another example could be, in five years from now, I really hope to be a people manager. And so during the course of my time at your company, I'm hoping that I could develop skills that would help me better manage a team. This means that I'm really looking for a manager that could help mentor me in learning how to manage a team as well as manage my work and prioritize my skills and learning and development at the same time. If you don't know where you want to be in five years, here's an example of how you can answer this question. I'm not quite sure where I see myself in five years. I do know that I want to continue to learn and grow within the compensation field. I know that I want to continue to learn more about broad-based compensation. I want to dip my hand into executive compensation. Specifically, I'm really interested in working in equity. I also know that I want to get in more involved with working with the board of directors as well as upper level management. I see that as a really valuable skill and I know that as I continue to grow and learn over time, I'll be able to do more within those different aspects of compensation. And I think that I can particularly get those experiences at this role and at your company. I hope these quick examples were able to help you with a brief script as to how you could make this your own. Of course, I did this from a compensation standpoint, but you could also do this from a marketing or a finance, accounting, anything you want. Um, all you have to do is switch a couple of pieces out and make it work for you. You're also more than welcome to answer this question in a much longer form. It's also possible that within the career path you chose, there are more specific things that you would be able to say to, you know, indicate what you would like to do over the next five years. I know, you know, if you're an actuary, there is a set of exams that you have to take over the course of your time. And maybe you want to touch on those briefly. If you are specifically focusing in HR, you can talk about getting certified um, via SHRM or the PHR and what that process looks like for you. There's also things within other sectors, other career paths that you could also focus on from a like, learning and development standpoint. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe so that I know to make more of these. If you have any questions or you'd like some additional help with different scripts you could use to answer this question, leave them below in the comments box and I will be sure to get back to you. Thank you. Bye.